first movie I saw was exper was the entertainment. Entertainment is this kind of fringe kind of uh, exploration of comedy and entertainment and pop culture uh, and deep alienation through this one character. It's kind of Lynchian. Uh, it's definitely for cinephiles. It's hard to get into, but it's really good. It's got a lot of different um, uh, interpretations. There's a lot going on, um, and it, and it's but it's not always accessible to people. But if it's but if you like those kind of really uh, thinky movies, uh, this one might be right up your alley. The next one I saw was The Keeping Room, uh, which was kind of like a feminist western. Uh, it was basically if you mix 12 Years a Slave with True Grit and set in the American South at the end of the Civil War, Civil, uh, Civil War when the Union Army is invading. Really powerful story, really amazing, really graphic. So trigger warning, uh, there are uh, really strong depictions of both violence and sexual assault. Uh, and so it's quite a graphic movie, but it was powerful and really, I thought it was a really well done movie. Um, that being said, some of the pacing is a little bit off, um, and it's, but it's still a very strong movie and probably the most surprising I had yesterday. The third movie I saw was, uh, The Lady in the Van, starring Dame Maggie Smith. Uh, it was a classic British comedy, really well done. Uh, she's amazing in anything that she does uh, and did a really good performance of this homeless woman who lived in a van uh, in this man's uh, driveway for 15 years uh, and really interesting, uh, really well done comedy. Favorite part of it actually is one technique they use with the writer, the owner of the house. There's an anthropomorphized version of the person who's writing so you actually have the narrative voice as a character in the film. It's really, really funny. And a lot of humor is directed through that kind of technique that's being used, and it's really interesting. Uh, the last movie I saw, which was probably my favorite movie, was Brooklyn. And Brooklyn uh, is probably gonna get some Oscar buzz, I would imagine. It's a really well done uh, period piece. A lot, really funny, hilariously funny. Um, romance uh, tearjerker about a woman from Ireland coming over to Brooklyn falling in love and then a tragedy happens and she has to go back uh, to Ireland and the question is which one uh, will she choose which life will um, is right for her very poignant uh, dealing with uh, everything that's going on with immigration and with refugees and uh, this whole thing that's happening right now. It was a perfect time for it to come out and that's why I think it's going to get a lot of Oscar buzz because it's timely with what's going on in our society at the moment.